It's because she always says ridiculous things, period. Why do we always talk about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? I'll say it for you one more time. It's just like, there's no filter. She doesn't think before she speaks. I swear to God, she is the left's version of Donald Trump saying a bunch of hyperbolic, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, she, <laughs> let's just read the story. Calls for ethics investigation into Ocasio-Cortez after she threatens Donald Trump Jr. She did. Like, look, people on the left are going to obviously be like, oh, it was a joke. She didn't mean it. But dude, what basically what happened is Donald Trump Jr. posted a meme and then she said, that's really smart, you know, trolling somebody who's got subpoena power. Like, and so what is that supposed to mean? You're going to subpoena Donald Trump Jr.? You're going to use federal authority to go after somebody because he made a joke about you? Let's read the story. Commenters online are calling for an ethics investigation into Democratic Socialist Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez after she threatened Donald Trump Jr. for posting a meme making fun of her. Trump Jr. shared a meme that featured Ocasio-Cortez on his Instagram that claimed the policies of socialism will cause Americans to eat their dogs. I, it, prob yes, that's what happened in Venezuela. The meme shows two images, one of Ocasio-Cortez with the text, why are you so afraid of a socialist economy? And another image beneath Ocasio-Cortez of Trump with an overlay of text saying, because Americans want to walk their dogs, not eat them. Look, there's not going to be any investigation into Cortez over this. I just want to say this first before I go, we'll go, to, the, we'll go to the meme. But at some point, she's going to say something that's just like, that's it. You know, you're done. Because she really does need to turn the filter back on. You know what I mean? Like, think before you speak. Calm down. Don't tweet this stuff. But here's the meme. It's kind of funny. She's, why are you so afraid of a socialist economy? And there's Trump because Americans want to walk their dogs, not eat them. But dumb tits. In response to a Washington Post write-up of the meme. What? Wait, wait, hold on. The Washington Post wrote a story about this meme. The absolute state of 2018 is po politicians threatening somebody with subpoena power. The, the child of the president posting, <laughs> posting memes about people eating dogs. And then the Washington Post deciding it's newsworthy enough to be included in their, their newspaper where they say democracy dies in darkness. You're right, but I'm not sure this is the kind of light we actually need. I'm not sure it's that important that Donald Trump Jr. posted a meme, thank you very much. Okay, but anyway, they say, in response to a Washington Post write-up of the meme, the Washington Post wrote up the memes. Okay, Ocasio-Cortez threatened to use the subpoena power of Congress against Trump Jr. She said, I have noticed that Jr. here has a habit of posting nonsense about me whenever the Mueller investigation heats up. Please keep it coming, Junior. It's definitely a very, very large brain idea to troll a member of a body that will have subpoena power in a month. Uh-huh. What could she mean by that? Like, no, seriously, like, think about that for a second. Because I know a lot of people on the left are going to be like, no, you know, she was just making a joke. You know, bleh. Like, uh, dude, it really does sound like she's saying, to, to put it bluntly, if you troll me, and I, 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 it is stupid to troll me because I have subpoena power. That's what it sounds like. As if to imply she could use that against Donald Trump Jr. Why? Even if there was a legitimate reason to subpoena Donald Trump Jr., are you implying that you will, you will be biased as a member of Congress against an individual because of their partisan speech that's protected under the First Amendment? Come on, man. Like, you know, the left likes to claim the right is obsessed with Cortez or whatever. But... When Cortez can, look, both the left and the right, for sure, talk about Cortez all the time. It's not unique to one side. And I think it's fair to say that when she repeatedly does things like this, like, come on, you know, we're going to talk about it. This is nuts. Uh, she's just, she's just a kid. She doesn't know, she's, she's, she's inexperienced. I feel like she was used, to be completely honest. She was young, idealistic. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's got gaff after gaff after gaff. Incorrect statements. PolitiFact has called her out. The Washington Post has called her out. And now she's doing this kind of thing again, again and again and again. And that's why everyone keeps calling her out. I, I think that she was just, you know, the, the Justice Democrats, the brand new Congress folks at the group, wanted to find a young ideologue who they could say, look at this young, fresh face. And they used a primary tech to get her in. And now she repeatedly makes a fool of herself. It's, it's ridiculous. Of course, the left is laughing about it, saying, ah, that's so great. Yeah, it's never funny when a politician talks about abusing federal power. Commenters pointing out that the act of threatening the, uh, to use the power of Congress against other Americans for partisan gain is prohibited by ethics rules. I don't think it's about partisan gain. It, it, I think it's about her personal ego. 
She's saying it's dumb to, go, to, to troll her. It's a, well, she said it's a very, it's definitely a very, very large brain idea to troll a member of a body that will have subpoena power. Yeah, that's personal ego. That's a, don't F with me because I've got federal authority. Don't be stupid. I have subpoena power. That's, that's what it sounds like she's saying. It really does. Sean Davis of The Federalist pointed to House, House Ethics Manual stipulations that members of Congress are prohibited from threatening due to partisan politics and cited the statute. But it's not just about that. It's about the fact that the dude literally made a joke. It's about the ego of Cortez that she has federal authority to go after someone who made a joke. It's not about partisan gain or partisan politics. But it, look, you, you can bring it to that point. It's specifically that a politician was upset that someone criticized her. Plain and simple. And guess what? Laura Loomer got banned. I don't care. Look, I, I'm not here to defend her politics, okay? This is about the fact that Laura Loomer criticized the politician's uh, uh, beliefs, what she believed the politician thought, and was banned from Twitter for it. Now we actually have another politician on Twitter thinking it's appropriate to even make the, the insinuation she could use powers like this. Sean Davis said, Are you threatening to use your power as a federal official to subpoena anyone who mocks or otherwise disagrees with you on the internet? Yes, it sounds like that. He went on to say, It's worth noting that the official House Ethics Manual explicitly prohibits the kind of threat that Ocasio just issued against Donald Trump Jr. for his refusal to support her political agenda. But it's not even about that. It's about her ego and her threatening to use governmental power. Look, politicians are public servants. They're actually supposed to be essentially employed by the people. Never should they use the authorities granted to them to target individuals for their speech. That's why we have the First Amendment. So I'd argue it's a First Amendment violation. He says, members are not to take or withhold any official action on the basis of the campaign contributions or support of the involved individuals or their partisan affiliation. Members are likewise prohibited from threatening punitive actions on the basis of such consideration. So it definitely sounds like it does make sense. He goes on to say, the House prohibition on the very kind of threat that Cortez just made to Trump couldn't be clearer. Lawmakers are prohibited from threatening punitive action against people or groups for not politically supporting the lawmaker. Ethics Committee should investigate. Of course, they won't. But I also think it's fair to say that we continually see the far left disagree with the idea of free expression and free speech. We also saw a report that I covered a study that shows that narcissists do not believe in diversity of political opinion. How fascinating, then, that someone like Cortez disagrees with the meme and threatens to shut down someone over their speech or threatens jamming them up with governmental authorities over jokes they made. I, I, I am not surprised to find that Democratic Socialist Ocasio-Cortez is taking a position that would indicate that would indicate she doesn't believe in free speech because these people don't for the most part. Of course, they want to claim they do. You know, why they, you, you know why they claim to support free speech? Because they recognize that moderates in this country, are, are they do believe in free speech. And how terrifying is it when a politician stands up and says, you should not be allowed to express yourself. That truly is terrifying. That is fascistic, okay? I, mean, I, I, love, I love how they, the, the far left wants to claim other people, the right are the fascists. Other commenters on Twitter chimed in. Kimberly Gilfoyle, did you just threaten to subpoena someone for criticizing you? As a lawyer and former prosecutor, I find this deeply troubling. I agree. Sorry, did this fool just threaten to use the power of government to punish a citizen because he posted a meme? Look at what CNN did to the guy who made the meme. They threatened to dox him. Oh, they claimed they didn't, but they actually said they reserve the right to publish the dude's name if he continues this behavior. How terrifying is that? It's almost like extortion. Brandon Darby said, I tend to be nice about you and defend you from silly attacks quite a bit, but I also found it concerning and threatening. In fact, I don't see how what you express could be taken any differently than someone threatening to abuse their power. For real. Ocasio-Cortez later tweeted in response to the backlash. She said, For the GOP crying that this is a threat, I don't have the power to subpoena anybody. Doesn't matter. Congress as a body, GOP included, has that power. No individual member can issue a subpoena unless they are a chair, which as a freshman, I can assure you I will not be, also must be under purview. I don't believe it matters whether or not you express your ability, the, the, the difficulty. The point is Cortez and the Democrats as the majority do have a potential to wield, they, they, they do have subpoena power. Okay, what that means is all she has said following the threat 
is that, hey, 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 look, all you people complaining, it's also really hard for me to do. She didn't say she couldn't do it. No, she, she's just saying it's hard for her to do it. Plain and simple. It sounds to me like she's making a threat. It also sounds to me like she's a dumb kid who doesn't know, doesn't know what she's talking about, but she made a mistake. She's probably not going to be investigated for this. It's going to blow over in a few days and no one's ever going to talk about it again. But I think this shows us that Cortez is a gaffe machine, for sure. We knew that already. But that she's going to keep doing this. And at some point, she's going to say something that overtly, overtly violates law. And then she's actually going to be in trouble for it. So I, I would recommend anybody who works with Cortez, man, you, like she needs... Because I, I, I certainly don't think she's going to listen to me because she keeps doing things like this. People keep telling her to knock it off. But someone needs to tell her, man, you really need to chill out. Seriously, put Twitter down. I love how they say Trump tweets nonsense. Like, dude, look at Cortez. She's literally the left's response to Donald Trump. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Enough talking about Cortez. Thanks for hanging out. I'll have more videos on the main channel tomorrow at 4 p.m. And I'll see you then.